So in this video, we're going to look at the distribution of prime numbers. And I've gone for the range of from 2 to 176,000 inclusive, where n is an integer. So we're only looking at integers or natural numbers with this function. So the number n divided by pi of n, the prime counting function. So the number of primes up to and including this number n. And notice this is the floor function. So we're taking the integer value of this. And then where it equals n over pi of n without the floor function. So basically what we're looking for is when this calculation here gives us an exact number, so an, an integer. So we're not looking for any fractions. So for example, if I pick 2, pi of 2, I know there's only one prime number up to the including number 2, because 2 is the first prime number. So pi of 2, that equals... 2 over 1, which is my first integer. Now look what happens when we get to 3. So 3 over pi of 3. So that gives us 3 is continued. And pi of 3, so there is two prime numbers up to and including uh, 3. So that gives us 3 of 2. So that equals, obviously, not a whole number. So that's no good to us. So pi of 3 is no good. So what now we want to look at is number four. Let's see what that gives us. So we'll quickly look at this one, and then we'll see if we can find a pattern in the sequence here. So four over pi of four. Now the prime numbers up to and including four, we know there's just two, so two and three. So that gives us four over two, which gives us an integer. So that's great. Now we're just gonna look at two more. We'll just look at five and six. Then I'm gonna show you something weird that happens after that. So 5 over pi of 5. Now we know there's now another prime number since we did 4. So now there's three prime numbers. And obviously 5 over 3, that's not an integer. So that's no good to us. So these ones no good. And then 6. This is the last one we're going to look at for now. Pi of 6. So that gives us 6. And we know there's three prime numbers up to including 6 because 6 is not a prime. So then that gives us 2. OK, so now we found integer solutions of n over pi of n using this. When this occurs, we found three numbers that give us an exact integer of two. Now, I've gone through the sequences all the way up to 176,000. And there is only three numbers that will give us the number two. And that is when n equals two, n equals four and n equals six. If you put n equals 8 or 10 or 12, you will not get 2. So let's just take this off the board and then we'll have a look and see what next integers we can come across. OK, so now we need to see if we can find n over pi of n, see if we can get any integers of 3. So I know between 2 and 27, there is 9 prime numbers. So if pi of something is 9... My n on the top, we know for 27, that's going to give us an integer of 3 when we do this calculation. So pi of 27 divided with 27 divided by pi of 27, that's going to give me 3. So that's going to be my first value for 3. Now, see if we can find any more. So 28 is not, 29 is. So we know we can now go 29 is. But we also know that 30 is not a prime number. So therefore, 30 over pi of 30, because we found one more, we can now divide by 10 and use 30. So that's another example for 3. And then what about the next ones? Well, we know 31 is a prime number, and there's no more between that and 33. So we can say that 33 over pi of 33, that gives us 33 over 11 which gives us 3. And then I went all the way through to 176,000. No more solutions that give me 3. So let's see if we can find any solutions that give us 4. OK, so we found all the 3s. Is there any 4s in there? So one thing I do know is that up to 100, there are 25 prime numbers. And I know that 100 divided by 25 is obviously going to give us 4. So we can go for 100 divided by pi over 
100. That gives us 100 over 25. So that gives us a 4. So what about either side of that? So if we work backwards from 100, 99, 98, 97, 96, we know 97 is a prime number. So therefore we could do 96 over pi of 96. That would give us 96 over 24 because there's one prime number between 96 and 100. So that would then also give us 4. So then moving back, I've got 95, 94, 93, 92. So there's no solutions that give us 4 working backwards from 96. So then moving forward from that, of course, 120 over pi of 120. So pi of 120 must be 30. So if that's 30 and we've got 120 over 30, that's going to give me 4. So we can just check that. So from 100, we've got 25. So in between 20, 100 and 120, there must be five prime numbers. So if you check that, that's what we'll get. And then I went through again, all the way up to 76,000. No solutions, that gave me four. Okay, let's put these on the side of the board and I'll show you what happened with five. Okay, so I had a good search through all of the uh, solutions for this, which might give me the integer of five. And the first one I came across was 330. So now we're getting big jumps now as we keep moving up the uh, integers. And the only other ones I got was 335, 340, 350, 355 and 360. So these also gave me five. So for example, if I look at 360, so that means I would have got 360 over pi of 360. So that would have given me 70, uh, so it would have given me five. So this one here would have been 72. So therefore it's telling me that the six prime numbers between 330 and 360. So our prime numbers are still quite tightly spaced. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you quickly what happened with six and seven and eight. Okay, so I've put up on the board here when I've got integer solutions for this calculation here. So when I've got six, we're up to 1,008, 1,080, 1,092, up into multiples of six, all the way up to 1,134. So that's the only place where the solution was six. And it's a big jump up from around 100 here. Now we're into the thousands. Now we know that pi of 1,000 so there's 168 prime numbers up to and including a thousand. So that's where we got to here. And seven, we're jumping up even more. So we got to 3,059 to 3,094, of which there was six. And they're all one after the other. So this is quite interesting here. That means there must be one prime number in between all of these integers here. And then for eight, we jump up even higher again to 8,408, all in multiples of eight, all the way up to 8,472. And sometimes there's gaps here, there's 16 gap here, 16 gap here, 16 gap here, only eight here and only eight here. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off the board, write this over here, and then I'll show you something interesting that happened with when we tried to get nine. Okay, so I've written up all our solutions for two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then I went on to try and search for nine and I could not find any nines anywhere in this range. Now, if anybody can find a nine, please write down in the comments. I'd be very interested to find out if there is. But interestingly, I found I found a 19 over two, which is just obviously nine and a half. So for exactly nine and a half, I found three numbers that would do that. So I found n equals 39,064, 39,159, and 39,178. Now, you can see there's multiples of 19 between each of these integers. So there's 95 here and 19 between these ones here. So if we put that into our calculator, so n over pi of n, so that would equal 39,064. 
So we're now starting to find out there's a lot of prime numbers up to in here, up to including here, but the gaps now are starting to get a little bit bigger. Okay, so now we're just going to clear the board here for the 9, and then I'm going to show you 10 and an 11, and then I'm going to see if we can find a 12. And I'm going to... Okay, so then I furthered on my search from 39,000. I didn't get any more integers in between 39,000 and 64,540. So that was my solutions that gave me 10. So let's just have a look at this last one here because then there's a massive jump from here. And I'm going to show you what that is. So first of all, let's work out this one. So our n over pi of n, that gave us 10. So in other words, our n is 64,720. So that means pi of 64,720, that must equal 6,472 in order to give us a solution of 10. So that tells us how many prime numbers we've got between 2 and 64,720. And then after that, I went all the way through up to 176,000. And to find n over pi of n, to equal 11 exactly, I could only find one solution, and that is when n equals 175,197. So that was my only solution to get this to equal 11. So if anybody can find any more interesting solutions for a 12 or a 13 or 14, that's the answer to this question. Please put in the comments below. I'll be interested to find out. So there we can see the distribution of prime numbers starts to get very spaced the further along we go our natural numbers. As soon as we get up to like a billion or a trillion, the gaps between prime numbers gets really large. So this is an example of here of how we can investigate that at a preliminary stage.